Hello everyone, it's Pablo here with a MacBook Pro Vintage 2006 and I'm going to fire it up here. It's uh, been in system suspended mode. Uh, uh, as you'll be able to see in a second, this is uh, instead of uh, the OS X uh, over 10 years old operating system, uh, we've got a brand new installation of Linux Mint 15. I just wanted to show how well this version of Linux works with MacBook Pros. Everything is uh, working and connected. Uh, the audio works great. Um, the symbols uh, pop up uh, within the operating system. Uh, for example, here's uh, brightening and darkening the screen using the keyboard uh, F1 and F2, uh, which is indicated on the keys. Uh, here's uh, muting the audio. Here's uh, uh, turning up the audio, turning down the audio. And here's uh, brightening and darkening the keyboard. So you see the keyboard there. Uh, you can see that, uh, and this just uh, turns, turns the keyboard off completely. So the lights behind the numbers and the, the letters, the keys. Uh, goes off and on. Uh, so turn that back up. Uh, we also um, uh, Linux Mint is just a, a really, really has come a long way. Uh, it, it looks great. It's very responsive. Um, I'm going to go through some of the uh, programs using uh, screenshots. It's got a built-in screen recorder. You just press Control Alt Shift and then R, and you see a little red uh, dot down, and it's recording the screen. So you can record uh, tutorials. It's ready to go out of the box to, to do all that. Plus, uh, in because it's in Linux Mint, it comes with GIMP, which is a uh, complete uh, like Photoshop program for processing photographs and uh, doing graphics. Uh, and it comes with a full Office Suite, LibreOffice, which includes a database, uh, includes an Excel-like program, a, a spreadsheet program, uh, works just exactly like Excel, and it reads in Excel files, reads in Word files in the Word processor. Uh, the database program works great, and there's a drawing program that's a part of that Office program, uh, like Visio. And uh, so, um, really, uh, you know, getting a Mac and having the Mac soft software, you, you're, you're kind of starting with a clean slate. You don't have any kind of uh, serious word processing uh, uh, graphics program. Uh, th there's also all kinds of free programs you can download. Uh, audio uh, processing programs, video editors. So the whole Linux uh, thing is much more exciting because there's all kinds of free software that's very good software. And uh, so I'm going to be showing uh, using the screen recording uh, a little bit more about Linux uh, and what and this loaded on here. Okay, see you over there. Okay, one of the first things you notice about uh, Linux Mint is you go all the way up to the upper left-hand corner of the screen, and here are your additional desktops, and you can have just about as many as you need. Uh, I'm going to go to one here that has both an Excel file, a style file, and a Word file, and it shows them both there briefly, and then I go to the screen. You can see that I've got an uh, Excel file and, or a spreadsheet, and a, and a text uh, uh, base file. Now I'm going to go to uh, the, another desktop where I'm uh, running some Twitter and looking at my uh, latest Twitter uh, feed. Um, so that's Twitter there. And now I'm going to go, and over here I was watching a movie, and I'm going to uh, just show you a little bit of the movie, but remember I'm using the screen recording function, so I can't make the screen very big, but this is a really nice laptop to watch movies on, and the Linux Mint is really 
nice for multimedia. Uh, this happens to be a movie that I downloaded through the uh, BitTorrent, but uh, you can also watch DVDs, and I'll show that a little bit later. Over here on this other uh, uh, desktop, I'm uh, running a YouTube uh, video. Um, so uh, we got the YouTube video over there. So now um, I thought what I would do is I would open up the graphics program. Uh, everything's logically uh, uh, arranged uh, rather than by the manufacturer of the software. It's, it's laid out by uh, graphics. So I'm going to go into GIMP 2.8, which is uh, preloaded on with any Linux Mint. And this is just a really nice Photoshop-like application. It's got all your layers. It's got uh, brushes. You can download uh, the new brushes. I'm going to open up a picture of a very handsome cartoon character here. And uh, you can see that uh, I'm going to change the color of the brush to a nice blue. Um, but, uh, yeah, over on the right-hand side, you can see uh, the layers, um, and you can save it to a PNG or a JPEG or whatever you want. Um, you can use different brushes and airbrush styles. Um, and lastly, uh, open up a fresh desktop here, and what I'm going to do is, uh, you see down there, uh, it said uh, install new programs. And so you have to give your password to make any changes on a Linux Mint um, system. And here is the uh, Linux Mint uh, uh, software uh, that's available. It's all virus-free, ready to download. Uh, I'm looking up an audio program here uh, uh, for audio editing. Uh, Audacity is available. And that's a multi-track uh, recording uh, program. Uh, and you can uh, put uh, effects on the audio and, and edit the audio. And uh, this other one here is one that I haven't tried yet, but it says it's a full Ardor. It says it's a complete uh, digital audio workstation, uh, hard disk recording system. So uh, very sophisticated programs that are available, ready to go uh, in Mint. So we're back again with the MacBook Pro that is for sale on eBay, uh, loaded with Linux Mint 15. Uh, just a couple more things I wanted to do. wanted to give you a chance to see how well the movies play on here. Uh, so And uh, also mention that... Uh, you know, it's got a built-in uh, BitTorrent uh, program. So uh, what you do is you just uh, start downloading any BitTorrent uh, program um, or movie or whatever uh, that you find on the web, and it automatically goes into Transmission, is the name of the program, and it, it starts to uh, download. You can download multiple ones at a time. So that's the other thing I like about it. I mean, um, for somebody that's newer to computers, it, it just figuring out how to handle the bit torrents and, and things like that, uh, this is all built in and ready to go. So you just uh, find one with your browser and the program, it says, do you want to run transmission? And you run it. So I recently uh, downloaded uh, uh, the movie... Uh, Beyond the Valley of the Dolls, <laughs> it's kind of a campy uh, movie, um, but uh, take a look at uh, how well it uh, plays uh, in full screen. And this is a 60s, uh, 1970 movie. Uh, so let's see if we can get here. Here, uh, this is uh, one of the stars uh, performing with Strawberry Alarm Clock. Here, let's see if we can get a shot of the boys in their strawberry clothes. There we go. Beyond the Valley of the Dolls. Uh, uh, 
strawberry alarm clock and you move your cursor over here and it goes into full screen mode and just beautiful playback uh, let's now let's uh, let's try one of my favorite movies here put in a DVD and this is uh, Art School Confidential just to show you how uh, well it's equipped to uh, play any kind of movie uh, everything's built in all the codecs and everything are all built in and working with the uh, hardware uh, so here I'm going to uh, uh, put in um, as I said Art School Confidential and here we go it pops up in a little icon there uh, Art School Confidential uh, it's giving me a screen so uh, got some options here it says it's a DVD so I'm just gonna play the movie and here's our movie so animations very smooth uh, you know we've reached the point where the processor and the memory is is adequate to handle uh, a nice playback uh, a movie So nice cinematic experience. Uh, this is a 17-inch uh, screen, so it's uh, ideal for uh, watching movies on, and it works very well with Linux Mint. So you don't need Mac. Don't need OS X. All right? That's good enough. Thank you very much, and this is available for sale on eBay.